Forget that overpriced brunch. Today we're showing you New York's best breakfast street food at price points around $5. This is a Manhattan tour you won't soon forget. We've got Ben, one half of the Bing Buzz, joining us, and we're starting at an iconic New York City breakfast cart. What does this mean to you? Comfort, especially after my night shift before. This is like what I want to wake up to. After I sleep in the office, wake up in the morning, this is the first place I go to. And we're starting with Mama Jo, who is an absolute legend in New York. Well, I used to have restaurants before. I sold the restaurants and I started here like maybe 40 years ago. I love cooking. You know, you know some people love coffee, some people love uh, you know, tennis, some people love uh, shopping. I love cooking, you know? The cook, cook is like an art. You have to know and you have to like. Otherwise, don't do it you will not be successful. What would you say is the best seller? They like my spanakopita. If you go to a Greek store, let's say in Queens, you go to a cafe, well, you're gonna buy the spanakopita for $10. I sell my spanakopita for $6. This is for me, this is from scratch. If I don't make it, how am I gonna sell it if I buy it? Spanakopita, so it's a puff pastry with spinach and feta. Very famous Greek breakfast. Let's try it. Mm, wow. The spinach and the feta just complement each other perfectly here. This is like <laughs> blowing my mind. How'd they make the spinach taste so good? Yeah, it's so that creamy, so hearty. Mama Jo is basically the, uh, the Greek mom or grandma you didn't know you had because she's stuffing us with all this amazing Greek food. I'm Asian, so she can't be my grandma, but <laughs> she is treating me like her grandson. I feel like this is a diner menu, first of all. A huge menu. Huge. That's crazy how all these food just stuffed inside this little cart. I know. Keto <laughs> pizza, puff pastry with feta and eggs. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. So warm and hearty. Mm. I feel like we just went over our house. I don't know how this is possible that we are having authentic Greek pastries right here in Midtown Manhattan. This is the, the ultimate New York City breakfast outside. And the price is too. A lot of items are $5 or less. Coffee's cheap. Sign me up. Olive bread, you try this. You know, she's right. The secret ingredient is a lot of Greek olive oil. You've ever been to Greece? They sell it everywhere for good reason. I shot a video once in Astoria. There was a little Greek cafe that's now closed that served this kind of food, but I would never expect to find this next to Grand Central. Crazy. I mean, if you are a tourist and you want to start your trip to New York and you're in Midtown, start it here. She will welcome you with open arms and probably chat with you for 20 minutes. New York is a friendly, but I don't deal with New Yorkers only. I have people from all over the world that come in. News people in Greece, they eat this meal, and in Germany, and in England, in France, and they came here for that. You've become a tourist attraction in a way. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Very yeah, cool. yeah, they find me here. I'm not in a tourist place, yeah. but they find me, yes. I watch your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. You're the man. He's the man. <laughs> He's the man? Who are you? <laughs> She's Mama Jo. All right, a little chicken noodle soup. Mm. You know how they call chicken soup Jewish penicillin? <laughs> Mama Joe's version, Greek penicillin. It's so good. It's like, you ever go on a camping trip as a kid and the best thing you remember is a chicken noodle soup? This tastes like that. It straight warms my soul. I think this is the first smile I cracked all day. Yeah, those are some strong words. And it's a, it's the morning. You don't normally think of chicken noodle soup for the morning, but I think we will start thinking about it. Yeah, maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> I always go for iced coffee, but this, this really hits the spot. I really can't believe the food is this good. I mean, I read it was this good, but I had to taste it for myself. You know, I have people, they call me Mama Jo for a reason. You know, if somebody comes here and he said, give me a cup of coffee, a small one for five sugars. You think I'm gonna give him five sugars? I would not give him five sugars. I'm gonna give him one sugar. And, <laughs> and you know, and people, they see that. He said, Mama Jo is not gonna give him five sugars. And then they come and say, how is your coffee? It's a different, but I like it. I say, you know why? Because I give you one sugar. Anyone who's ever been to Greece understands the obsession and addiction, the frappe, iced coffee, cappuccinos. I drank this twice a day in Greece. And this is tough to find in New York. You ever tried this? No, I'm freaking excited. Are you gonna join the club? Only three dollars. This is definitely my top pick here for a drink. Holy moly, this is actually really good. What have I been drinking in my whole life? I know. <laughs> Makes you question your decisions. Homemade baklava taste test. First time having baklava outdoor in a rain. Yes, me too. <laughs> mm, no extra sugar needed, just that honey. Mm. It actually tastes sweeter than the usual baklava too, in a good way. 
honey, sweeter and healthier. You're right, there's definitely a healthy element to this. Yeah. A healthy, cheap New York breakfast. That's dessert too. <laughs> We're just transcending so many different levels here. I got one last question. Yeah. How do you keep such a positive attitude all the time? Because like I say, Pig, for to you, you have to like what you do. People that go to do any kind of job, and they do it for money, and they do it because they have to survive, but you can survive doing what you like. I came here, I, I was a furry. I was making four quotes. I was making shows all over the country. The four business stopped, everything stopped. I closed the factory and said, what's my next best thing? It's food. And that's how, you know, if you can turn what you like to business, then you always have a good attitude. Words of and wisdom, that's I like my it. nature too. You have to do, you know, that's my nature also, yeah. I've been making videos for a long time in New York. I think my experience with Mama Joe's may be one of the most memorable, you? Hands down, hands down. She gave this little street corner so much life. Ben, one of the cheapest breakfasts in New York is at a famous hot dog spot, Gray's Papaya. What do you think about this? I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. And I know they serve bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm very curious to see how many strips of bacon they're gonna give you. Okay, let's see. So Gray's Papaya was opened in 1973, and there used to be more of these. This is the last one standing, okay? You eat this every day? Yeah. You, this is, you eat this every day? Yeah. Wow. Every day in the morning, can I get one bacon, egg, and cheese with coffee, one sausage, egg, and cheese, and one hot dog, egg, and cheese with coffee? Look at that. Five minutes, three dollars for mine, three ninety-five for yours. Wow. For three people, I spent a little over ten bucks. So Ben, what'd you get for three ninety-five? Three ninety-five, small coffee made to your liking, and a whole breakfast sandwich with a hot dog inside. This place is known for its hot dogs, so I had to get one. It's interesting, actually. You don't normally think of hot dogs for your breakfast, at least most people, but. Gray's Papaya, this is the king of hot dogs in New York. And we did a whole video reviewing their hot dog in the past, if you wanna know how that is. But I guess you can give people a clue based on this breakfast sandwich. What surprised me is that the hot dog is more pricey than the bacon. <laughs> Usually it should be the other way around. You know what, you're <laughs> onto something here. I guess it's a premium being Gray's yeah, Papaya. Exactly. So I got the bacon, egg, and cheese on this roll, which I, I don't know what type of bread it is. Three bucks with a coffee. This sounds like a, like a bodega special straight out of 2005, I don't know. Sounds pretty cheap to me. I became a fan when they first had the recession special. Yeah. Recession special, two hot dogs and a drink, and now they got this, so they win me back. So yeah, they're the recession in the morning, and people know about this. They have been busy Absolutely. the entire time we're here. All right, let's give, let's give us a whirl. Let's, let's try go. this. Mm. You know what, for three bucks, four strips of bacon in here, not the best sandwich I've had in my entire life, but like thinking of the value proposition here, really, really good. You're just on the run to the office. I mean, that's cheap. Yeah, and my sandwich is actually pretty darn good. Creamy cheese and egg, and the hot dog is a hot dog, but you can't go wrong with a hot dog. So you think it's worth it to pay the extra 95 cents to get the hot dog? On a good day, I would. On a good, on a day. good day, I would. <laughs> Tax not included. If you really want to be stingy with the math, it's like how much is a hot dog in itself? It's already 250. Yeah. So right here you get a whole sandwich with eggs and cheese and a coffee for 395. Pretty worth it to me. And you get to go to a historic spot like Gray's Papaya. Yeah. Literally the brightest spot here in Upper West Side. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's gloomy as hell. We're tired, and you have this tropical themed hot dog place. Yeah. And the best thing is that it's few blocks from Central Park, few blocks from Riverside Park, and right here at the cheapest spot in Upper West Side. You're right. One of the most expensive neighborhoods in the city. Yeah. Known for, as Ben said, their recession special. I've heard people say Katz's Deli has one of the best hot dogs in New York. So we could say a spot like Gray's Papaya has one of the best cheap breakfast deals in New York. Sometimes you go to an icon and you get something a little bit different, could surprise you. I hate rush hour. I realize I never, I never ever do this. This is like not me. Pretty bad. I never film this early. This is so rare. We've got Petey's Cafe. So you've seen the old school. This is the new school breakfast cart of New York. Petey is huge on social media. Quite a character. How's your day so far? I lost my job a couple of days ago, so now cool. I'm just awesome. like figuring things out. Which, that's, awesome. that's awesome. Now you get to do whatever the f you want. Yeah, that's true. So my grandpa, uh, when he came over from Greece, he uh, purchased a hot dog cart. And he used to work with my uncles, my dad. They all used to do it. And then my dad had purchased one because he saw obviously what was going on. So he purchased one monkey see monkey do type of thing. <laughs> Same thing with me, monkey see monkey do. So once my dad did the, uh, the push cart, he retired. And after a couple years, I came in and I started doing it. And then now we're here. And uh, I just want to market a little different than everybody else. One day my girlfriend's like, why don't you just start recording this and show people what you're doing? I was never a social media person. I would always consume. I would never plant seeds in there. So yeah. I was like, let's just try it out. And uh, 
skyrocketed from then. And I, you got a lot, so you're live right now. Can you Yeah, yeah I'm live right now. now. So yeah, every day I'm, I'm live. They just keep me company. They're like all my friends now. It's really cool stuff. What's your favorite thing about this job? You get to interact with interact New Yorkers with all day. Yeah, interact with people. When it comes to coffee, listen, I have good coffee, but I know nothing about it. I'm not like a coffee connoisseur. I'm not a coffee nerd. I just know regular coffee from diners and from push cards. My main thing is I love talking to everybody. Yeah. I love helping people. I love seeing the smile on their face when I charge them $1.75 for a small coffee. Because everywhere else is like too. Uh, it's just expensive, bro. I was thinking of your, uh, your, what was it, your, your secret menu item, the Cadillac? Cadillac? Like Cadillac. It. I got you. Somebody told me try coffee and um, hot chocolate, and I thought that was weird. I'm not a big fan of hot chocolate, so uh, I was like, all right, it, I'll, tr I'll try it out. And ended up making it, and it was just delicious. Yeah, so I made this. I posted on social media. I was like, I don't know what to name it. And somebody says, in jail, they call it the Cadillac in jail or on the street and other people that go to Starbucks or they would tell me it's a mocha. And I was like, I like the street sound better. I like the Cadillac yeah. better. I'm gonna keep it with the real people. I had to order this Cadillac. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm in the mood for a hot chocolate, but possibly a coffee at the same time. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna scratch that itch. And you got the iced coffee, which is his best seller. I like it regular. All right. Regular iced coffee. Right, let's try these out. Ooh, that is way better than I expected. You know, you got the coffee feel to it but chocolatey flavor. So this is gonna wake me up with the sugar and the caffeine. And as he said, this is not a mocha, which is what you would get at Starbucks. <laughs> like a, I think it's a mix of a cappuccino and chocolate. No, he doesn't know any of those words. Yeah, <laughs> what you see is what you get from Petey. He's not pretending to know about lattes, but what he does there, he does so well. If I work in this area, I would rather buy breakfast from a guy like that. That chats you up every single time yeah. versus a depressed cashier at McDonald's. He actually cares about his customers. And this video is about cheap breakfast. This is like one of the cheapest iced coffees in town, right? I think so. For two, $2 and change, you get a decent sized iced coffee. He has a lot of the breakfast staples over there, but he said his favorite was the apple donut. So I want, I want to go with Petey's choice here. Uh, let's give us a whirl. The apple filling is a star here. There's not a ton of it, but what filling they have, sweet and tasty. Mm. You know what could make that better? What? This. A Cadillac. This is a good breakfast right here. Apple donut, Cadillac, you're in business. You're in business pretty cheap in New York. Learning about Pete and drinking this coffee makes me want to go straight to work right now. He's like the pep talk you need in the way to work. Yeah. <laughs> like, give it to me, Pete. That's what it's all about in the city. Like, having those local characters, it makes living in New York feel just a little bit more neighborhoody, more local. Both Mama Joe and Petey have Greek backgrounds, okay? Hardworking Greek people, like the backbone of the New York City street food scene. They're the OGs with the hot dog carts. Billy's Hot Dogs, near Central Park. I'm looking at you, my favorite hot dog in New York. Owned by a Greek immigrant, okay? Oh, wow. So when you talk food in New York City, you're probably gonna mention some Greek people. And I would think overall, he's just a really inspirational story. He's making it happen. And he's adding his own little social media twist. And I think, in the future, every small business has to kind of work in his direction. He's been a business since September. That's what I find so interesting. A lot of these businesses, they'll, they'll invite influencers in, but he's become the influencer himself. He skipped that step. Yeah. That's pretty ingenious. If you're a fan of cheap breakfast and you need to try another New York icon, the bagel, and in this video, we show you the best spots in the city to eat it. Watch this next.